Hello, hello, everybody. This is the Stroh's Bros. Welcome to Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time we went through Sprout Tower, arrived at uh, Violet City. Well, let's reverse that order. And we trained with a bit of our Pokemon. We have Fordix the Cool Lava, we have Brainless the Tentacool, and Fetus Cat the Mew. Now, we're a little under level, but, well, I mean, I guess that adds to the challenge. Although we're going to go challenge the gym, I'm going to throw Brainless up here in front since he's the lowest, lowest level. And let's go see if we can head off to the gym. Now, I, I would say that this gym is full of flying tucks, but since everything is randomized, I guess we'll have to, to uh, find out. Let me see if you were good enough to face Falconer. Ding! And Bug Catcher Jimmy wants to battle. Ditto, you are no Bug Catcher, sir. You have got a pile of gook. So now with Ditto here, um, it's going to use Transform on us and become Brainless, which means he'll have all of our moves um, and stats and all of that fun stuff. I was hoping he'd hear some of its confusion. Now. He has Supersonic with him, and he also has a move that can poison with him. This could possibly lead to some problems. Uh, please hit yourself. Thank you. Now we're going to try with Fetus Cat here. Um, we have Transform also. I mean, but we would just Transform... Actually... Wow, of course. I wonder if... We would transform into Ditto or into Tentacool because he's currently transformed into us. I'm curious. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. Okay, it, it, it just fails. It doesn't let us have any fun. Okay, don't poison. Thank God. And pound, and we beat up Ditto. Fetus Cat is almost level 13. Bug Catcher Jimmy was defeated. I'm gonna go over to the uh, Mart real quick and see, just in case any of those shenanigans happen again, March over here, um, I'm gonna get an antidote and maybe a paralyzed heal and burn heal, just, just the basic things. Um, cause you never know. All right, so I think we have a paralyzed heal with us. I'll grab an awakening. Oh, okay, you don't have anything else. Just great, just great. And we didn't get hurt in that, except for Fetus Cat, just slightly, which I think we can be okay with that. Um, I guess for today's topic of the day, we can talk about the uh, trading card game for Pokemon. It was very popular. Um, and I didn't get into it competitively, like, not in the slightest. I only collected it when I was younger, or collected the cards. Um, and... I think, uh, well, I guess you are a bug collector now. But my favorite card that I had was this shiny Charizard. And it was really cool because I hadn't, like, seen Pokemon cards that... And when I mean shiny, I don't, I don't mean, like, holographic. I don't mean, like, the base set, like, Charizard that every kid had, but it was rare because it was so cool looking anyway. I'm talking about, like, a literal, like, the, the black Charizard. Um, and... It was, it was the first, like, card that I saw that was, like, of a shiny Pokemon. Um, which, if you don't know, a shiny is an alternate color palette of a Pokemon that has 1 in 8,092 chance of appearing. And I didn't mean to do that again. Um, so, that number's been decreased in the later games. Like, I think it's, like, 6th gen, where it was decreased to 1 in 4,086 or 56. It's half. You have double the chance of getting shinies in 6th gen. But, um, yeah, shinies were actually introduced in this generation with gold, silver, and crystal. Um, and there is a static shiny Gyarados that actually appears later in the game, although I don't know if it'll actually show up because it's, well, randomized. Um, but yeah, it was always interesting to see the uh, red Gyarados come out. But with the trading cards, I have, uh, kind of a funny funny stupid story so you know I had my base set of cards and I always wanted to be like have my cards be unique and oh ho ho 
That was close. Sent up four dicks. Because, like, you know, if you get, like, let's say, a base at Infernape in your collection, well, nothing really sets apart your Infernape from, like, one if your friend gets. So, me being really young and really stupid, decided to kind of, like, take some scissors and cut the corners, like, diagonally off of the cards to make this, like, took this rectangle shaped card and now made it into this really stupid looking octagonal. Ugh. Like obviously like even if like I pretty much ruined those cards and I feel so stupid about it but you know well I wanted to be different. I'm like I guess that kind of extends into how I generally play Pokemon competitively now because I didn't get, start getting competitive with the games until I'd say Heart Gold, Soul Silver, maybe even Platinum. That's when I first started kind of looking into like EV training and IV breeding. I didn't. I still kind of don't do IV breeding, but sometimes you do. But um. So like I I like to diversify how I. Um I'd rather lose with unique Pokemon than win with kind of cookie cutter sets. I mean that's I guess kind of why and that goes so through with Tentacle here. Um. I don't know, it's, I guess a part of it's kind of hipster-like, but, you know, you could win with a team of, like, Rotom, Garchomp, and such, but I feel like if you manage to snag a win with, um, Pokemon like Venomoth or Giraffe Rig, you know, some of the Pokemon that don't get as much light shined on them, I mean, even Relicanth, like, Pokemon that are considered lower tier, it just... It, it, it seems a better win in my eyes, but, I mean, people can play how they wish. So, I'm Falconer, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. And here we go. Our first gym battle. Against Ryder Tristan. Tristan. Ah, well, I mean, I guess... I can sympathize with you because I, I also do writing. Um, ooh, poison. On poison types, of course. Of course, and a supersonic the knitter in here. And. Okay, we're doing good. Poison types cannot be poisoned, so. Alright, sorry for that cut. Um, just had to take care of something, so. I mean, he's poison type. So I'm gonna switch into four dicks. And of course, confuse no more. It's only one. Always one. Sure, I'm just gonna throw up smoke screen. Just in case he has anything for me. I mean, better safe than sorry. Like that. In case he wants to lower my defense and try to do more damage to me. But we got Ember. All right, I guess we won't need, wouldn't have needed the smoke screen because it didn't help us. Just wasted a turn. Of course. Let's see who your next Pokemon is. And you've got Voltorb. So we're gonna stay away from uh, Brainless for the moment. Although I don't believe he has any Electric type moves. Um. Did this lower the levels of... No, okay. I'm thinking of Heart Gold and Soul Silver when I said... Ooh, nice burr. When I said that we were under-leveled because I remember Falconer's Pidgeotto being, I believe, either 13 or 14 in that game. I forgot that in this one it was 9. So we're actually okay. Ford X goes level 13 and Ryder Tristan was defeated. Darn, my dad's cherished time. Okay, um, that was Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge reference, I guess. Uh, official Pokemon League Zephyr Badge. Someone was sent back to mom, and Cuba received the Zephyr Badge. Now, since that was kind of the goal of the video, I'm not going to just end it here. Um, we can continue on, try to get to the next town, if possible. But we also have a new encounter to our left. There is a route here that is only in Crystal. Um, we got the TM Mud Slap. I. I thought this randomized. No, I didn't randomize TMs, I don't believe. So. 
Oh, okay, never mind. I lied. I randomized TMs. Extreme speed. I'm perfectly okay with giving Fetus Cat extreme speed. Because Fetus Cat has excellent stats all across the board. They're all base 100. So it is great at everything. Master. Master of none. It's not. Well, kind of master of all. 100 is good. Uh, hello, Cuba. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Can you talk to him? Click. Alright. Wait, Pokemon Center. And let's go see what is all the hubbub about this egg. And there he is. Hubert, long time no see. Professor L asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Sure. We discovered that Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It is supposed to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Hubert, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor L when that egg hatches. And here we have a new addition to the party. We have egg. It needs more time, so this egg is completely random. Um, I guess we can just keep it in our party to see what it hatches into. And let's just... Well, you know, we can heal up. I mean, we took a little bit of damage. We can heal up our moves. It's always good. And we can go to uh, west of Violet City and see what we can find. Yeah, move out of the way, old man. We have important business to take care of. And we're at Route 36. This connects to a later town through this way, and we can see we have a little tree here. Huh, looks like we can't get past it. So, this patch of grass is only here in Crystal. And... It's a Squirtle! Looks like this really likes giving us starter Pokémon. I'm not gonna use Poison Sting. Uh, Fetus Cat. So, if we... Uh, that's another water type. Let's just hope we don't kill it. Pound. Okay, <laughs> that was actually really... Do I have Pokeballs? I think I do. Okay, I do. And... Ah, oh, okay, shoot. If it doesn't catch in this next ball, I'm probably going to skip out on it. Because, thinking on it also, I'm going to need Pokemon for HMs. Okay, I'm just going to... I'm just going to kill it. Because, while it'd be nice to have a Blastoise... I'm gonna need to think about the HMs I'm gonna need, like Strength, like Surf. Well, Surf I can do with Brainless, but uh, things like Fly, I'm gonna need a Pokemon for. I mean, it's not, I guess, necessary we get Fly, but it's very helpful if we do. And I'm gonna use that PP up we have that was on Brainless and use it on Extreme Speed. Since it only has five. I guess we can go down here and see what we have. Because what I'm going to do is... Once I get f six Pokemon... I'm going to make a rule that I can't catch any more... To add to my team... Until one dies. Or I could release one and... Um, release one to catch another. Um... Here we're at the ruins of Alf. Pokemon that hit on the seafloor, eyes on its back, scanned the area. Now here is a little puzzle. Um, in the most literal sense of the term. Here we can create a picture of a Pokemon that lived on the undersea floor. We can put it in the four corners. Uh, I believe that's up there. There. I might have messed that up. 
second eye there. Unless... No, okay, I was right. And then I'll go there. Let's move this out of the way. Because what this is going to do is going to allow us to unlock encounters in this area. And there. Alright, we got this. No, something's wrong. Probably is the eyes. It's the eyes. Pretty sure I did that right. Be right back. All right, now this. There we go. It was probably either the top, like the two blocks in the top middle or the bottom middle, because they're kind of like nearly symmetrical, so it could be either or. Um, yeah, we fall through. There's a strange presence here. This place always gave me the creeps, and I love the atmosphere of it. This is normally where we'd fight unknown, but here we fight Azatu. Actually kind of fitting for this area, because I'm pretty sure um, one of these caves actually has not wild not to normally. Um, this would actually be good, because we could use a flying type. Pretty much exactly what I wanted. Heck, okay. I probably shouldn't do this. Okay. Like I probably should switch. I'm. I I keep clicking poison thing, knowing that it could poison. Okay. It's probably gonna do another peck, so I'm gonna pokeball. And. Come on. So close. Uh, that's not going to be too bad because that does the amount of its level. So it does 5 damage always until it would level up. <sighs> Come on, Zatu. Work with me here. I'm going to switch out Brainless so she doesn't get absolutely murdered here. Want four dicks. I need to buy more Pokeballs. Yeah, we got Zatu. Let's see, what should we name you? Zato! The mystic Pokemon. Once it begins to meditate in the sunrise, the entire day will pass before it will move again. Hmm. So... No, actually, I got it. No, I don't got it. Um... Uh, I was gonna say college student, but that doesn't fit. Um, Alright, I'm just gonna go totem. Because I'm reminded of the uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games where they had the uh, totem poles with Zatu and Noctowl on them. Let's check you out. Totem. Peck, Leer, Nightshade. Pretty much what I expected. Alright. We can do some switcheroo in here. Throw out a potion on Totem. Also throw one on Brainless. No. Heal Brainless. And now since Totem isn't going to be doing much like fighting right away, I can just switch it at um, mid-battle to get the experience 
of the battle, and we could have had a ride on. We could have had a ride on. Love that animation. We could have had a ride on. Although, I am pretty happy that we at least. Um. We at least have a Pokemon that can fly, if it survives that long enough, which I'm gonna hope it does. Um, because fly is a very good. Don't. Don't do this. Is this gonna do absolutely nothing to you? Okay, that does a respectable amount. And we burned it, so now it's physical attacks are gonna do half. That was a crit, jeez. Please stop. Alright. Hurt by the burn, we'll kill it with this ember. We get a crap ton of experience, because right on is absolutely powerful. Unnecessary critical. And, okay, kind of sad I told him to get the level from that, but anyway, let's find our way. Okay, there's the ladder. So, yeah, I absolutely love the atmosphere of this place. You can see the unknowns dotting the walls. This is the area that pretty much inspired, I found it right on, inspired the uh, third movie, Pokemon the third movie with Entei and Own, all of that. Such a good movie. Such a good movie. I'm going to throw back out, um... Four dicks. And stomp. Okay, it's gonna do three. That's gonna do five. I lied. So I'm gonna throw out another ember, see how this fares. Uh yeah, that I think that might have been a high damage roll. So, um I might be a two at KO. Uh Okay, good. Down goes the right on. Aim for the horn. Totem grows to level 6. Fordix gets a little closer to 14. Once we get out of here, I'm going to throw Brainless out when Pokemon come out so he can go to level 12. Or she can go to level 12. And we enter Route 32. Um, I don't believe I'm going to catch anything on this route unless something absolutely fantastic comes out. And I only have like one Pokeball, so I'd have to get really lucky with it. Um, because I don't want to spread out my team too thin. It's a Cyndaquil. Well, I kind of already have a Colava. So, yeah. I'm going to see if Totem can snag the kill, because all you're going to have is Tackle. Yeah, okay, we got it. Totem's getting its first kill. What I enjoy with this is it's giving me a chance to use Pokemon I ha either haven't used in years. In the case of Zatu, I've only used Zatu once on gold, actually it was. Um, or haven't at all, like Mew in-game, like it was only once on red. Tentacle I use kind of sporadically. Not too often, but I've used it I think two or three times in files. Um... I mean, Quilava I use, it's a 50-50 shot on gold, like if I play gold, if I choose Quilava, so, I mean, I'm no stranger to Quilava. And, yeah, developer Robin. We're not even in the caves yet, son, put that thing away. If only we had a nice, strong psychic type move right now. Leech life. Okay, that's going to do normal damage on us because we are part flying. Which would... Okay, critical hit. Say because bug doesn't do jack shit against flying, but it does super effective against psychic. Alright, it does one normally. Tom's going to steal away this Zubat's life. Claim it for its own. Corrode all seven. And... Slugma. Just notice it does little bubble, like the bubble pops. Um, still just got Poison Sting. I'm kind of tempted to see when it learns a new move. Eh, nah. We'll leave it up to su for surprise. Alright, Smog, you're trying to poison me now, are you? That animation lasts actually a really long time. Throw up Supersonic. Get the little Tweety Birds. And... Oh, I mean you missed, so... 
Works for me. Yeah! You were poisoned, good sir. You were poisoned and confused. Still can hit. Apparently, because confusion doesn't do jack shit for when you have it. Because that's always the luck of Pokemon is... If you get confused, you can bet your bottom dollar that you're gonna hurt yourself. Enemies? Nah, they can use Ember all day. All day. All day, every night. And he gets... What's with these enemies? Critical, Jesus. We do not need any of that nonsense here. Confused no more. Didn't even hurt itself once. I swear, this is why I don't run confusion moves. Just because they're not worth it. It's plain not worth it. I mean, they're fun and competitive because you're fighting human players that don't cheat with confusion. Okay, we get Constrict. That's... I'm going to be honest, that's not good. It's, it's not a good move. It's... What's its base power? I think it's like 10. Is it 10? Do I not get to... Ch okay, I can't check my moves. I'm pretty sure its base power is 10. And it's absolutely pitiful. And... Drum roll! God, what's with all the... Did this... Like, I could totally see it happening. Like... It didn't just randomize, but it also, like, did, like, a one-to-one -one replacement, because seeing Slugma three times now, I don't... Wow. I don't have... Ah, uh, I don't have an antidote. Totem, get out of there. Get out of here. No. Okay, miss. Good. Okay, we have a problem on our hands. This is officially a problem. Stupid slugmas. You stop that nonsense. We are not having our first death here in the third episode. Sorry. Just isn't happening. Poison yourself. Die. Alright. If you're an antidote... Ugh, repel. Will somewhat help. Not at this second. I have one potion. No antidotes. Okay. 13. Oh, stop. Stop this. What's with the fire types? The, this, the fire on this route. This route is on fire. We got Syndical. We got Slugma. We got a train with Slugma. We got Magmar. I'm gonna send out Fetus Cat, because I'm not letting Totem take any unnecessary damage. I think we might be able to make it back to the Pokemon Center. Because we have... 13 times that it can do that. Like the poison. And then I have a backup potion. And extreme speed to take out the Magmar. Way to go, Fetus Cat. That's how I like to see it. Fetus Cat Girl is all at 13. Awesome. Alright. 12 HP. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. Okay, 6. 5. I'm gonna use a potion now. Oh, you're at 8 still. Oh, well, I'll put it up to 28. Okay, I think we're gonna make it. Let's hope. See that now. I'm scared to check. 21. Okay, we made it. We saved Totem. Well, shouldn't cut my chickens before they hatch, but this chick is getting healed at the Pokemon Center. <laughs> I need it. Potions. This is why I wanted to buy antidotes. Because I knew there was going to be something ahead that was able to poison us. Alright. Fully healed. Yes, yes. I at least want to get to Azalea. And... I don't know, I might just make it to the cave. Yeah, I think we're just gonna get to the cave. Union cave. So all the trainer battles I can go on this route. Alright, um, we're back. 
Totem took some damage from a Magmar. I'm just going to continue with the Switch training. Um, because I don't want Totem to die after going through all this trouble. Schoolboy Mia. Schoolboy? What? I mean, that's cool if you are, but... I mean... Okay. I have the weirdest boner, I think, right now, maybe. Alright, hoot hoot. We're gonna throw out Brainless. I mean, all for being randomized, like, I know all these trainers all have different Pokemon, but they're all, like, different within the same air. Like, this... Like, I was scared of fighting against, like, trainers with, like, Feraligators and Alakazams. But they seem to be generally, like, the same kind of power. Alright. Can never ask for more than one hit in Confusion. Never do it. Let's see if we can poison you as well. Nope. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I, I won't complain for the rest of the battle. I got my two hits. Confuse no more. Use this growl. Poison is physical, so that will affect us. But I believe this is our only Pokemon. Ah, oh, that affected us so bad. That should have killed. As I say that... I wouldn't complain, I'd do it immediately after. Totem Gross level 9. Okay, no new moves. Then again, it is an evolved Pokemon, so... Can't really expect too much. Alright, there are two routes on this... Well, route, two ways we can go. The left has more grass and fewer trainers, but the right is kind of like an optional trainer fest, which... Uh, I'll fight one or two. Um, we got Diglett. Mm, what do you have for me? Do you just have Scratch? Yeah, it's gonna have Scratch, so I'm not even gonna... Not even gonna bother. I'm gonna send out Fetus Cat. Yeah, Scratch. If you're stronger and we're using Ground-type moves, then I would've stayed in, but... And the power, the absolute power of Fetus Cat. You cannot rival it. So glad I picked you up. Alright. We're going to go down the left route first. Because there's an item over there we can snag. Ah, another Slugma. I don't want to deal with you. I'm just not dealing with you. Sorry. I'm not dealing with Slugmas that can smog. Alright, so let's go over and sneak up here. A Porygon! That's actually really cool. <laughs> the first time I've ever seen a Porygon be battled in the wild. What do you have for me? Peck? Let's, let's see. I don't know if you have any attacking moves right away. Conversion. Okay. You don't got nothing for me. Oh, you don't have anything for me. Alright. Easy kill for Totem. We got a Great Ball. Alright, that's that's useful. I like. I'm game. Alright, it was just another Sunday Quill. I had Totem to kill it. It's almost level 10. I'm gonna go heal before I, because there is a Pokemon Center down here. I'm gonna go do that before I fight him. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious Slowpoke tail for you right now? Just one million Poke. You want this? No, thank you. You don't want it? Then scram. Shoo. Okay, that's what I'm doing. And we've got the Pokemon Center. Um, I think the rest of this, actually, yeah, I'll go fight those trainers, but I'll do it in speed up. Um, so you can listen to some of the awesome music that was arranged for the Harmony of Heroes album. Um, yeah, the link to the song will also be in the video as always. Um, next time on Pokemon Crystal, Randomizer's Nuzlocke, Randomizer we'll head through Union Cave, and we'll head into Azalea Town. 
Maybe even try to challenge our second gym. I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys later as I go fight these trainers. <laughs>